Hello everyone, and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. My name is Tony, and today we're going to take a Trimble R980 receiver. Uh, we're going to use that as a base. Uh, we're going to get that set up with a SIM card uh, and get an IBSS survey uh, going. Uh, so we're going to use that as our, as our base receiver, and then we'll use a, just a regular uh, older R10 as our rover receiver. Uh, one thing that we can do with this new 980 with this new uh, 4G LTE modem is we can use that as a base and we can use uh, internet capabilities to uh, project our corrections to our rover, uh, again, using the internet as opposed to using some sort of a radio, whether that be a, you know, like a TDL 450 or a HPB uh, or even the internal radio of the base and rover. Uh, Again, a downside of this might be, you know, uh, if you're out in the sticks, you may not have cellular capabilities. Uh, but if you do uh, have cellular capabilities where you're working, this is just another option that Trimble does provide for us. So on the left, uh, just some specs for the Trimble R12i. Uh, even for the R10s through the R12i's, uh, the internal modem was just a 3.5G. Uh, with this new R980 now, we do have the 4G LTE capability. Uh, some extended memory. Uh, UHF radios are the same, except for uh, the new 900 megahertz radio is included now with the Trimble R980. Uh, the SIM card slot, as you can see in the picture, uh, is the same. Uh, all these receivers are going to use the standard SIM card size. And for today, I'm kind of got to go through the, the process of getting the receiver set up. Uh, but if you want to learn a little bit more uh, in depth uh, as far as the settings go, we'll cover some of those today. Um, but a more in-depth uh, coverage, I guess, uh, of, of setup. We do have a video on our Frontier Precision YouTube page uh, just called Trimble Access IBSS, how to get started webinar uh, for some of those background details that I'm not going to cover uh, too much today. So let's jump into this. All right, so the first step to get the uh, SIM card activated uh, in our R980, uh, first thing we need to do is just make sure the R980 is powered on. And then from a PC or Windows 10, doesn't matter, controller even, you can do it. Uh, just go into your Wi-Fi connections and then search for, uh, it'll say Trimble GNSS and then the last four digits of the serial number, uh, which will be found on the bottom of the R980. So just tap on that, click on connect. And while that's connecting up, uh, basically just need to open up a, a web page. Anyone will do. Just confirm that I am connected to the Wi-Fi of my R980. Uh, and then uh, on the web page, uh, tap on the URL address box up top and just type in uh, this address, this 192.168.142.1. And it'll just get us into the web user interface of the R980. So this is the first time I'm logging into this one. So if this is the first time for you, this is what you'll see. Uh, the, uh, the username by default is admin and then the password is password so hit okay there and then uh, it's going to ask you to, to change your password uh, for the first time so just make sure that your old password again is just password and then the new uh, just type in whatever you want uh, make sure you you know maybe write it down uh, or maybe you make a, a label or something uh, for that if you do forget this, we can do a hard restart on the R980 and it'll just reset this back to default. So I got my password in there, I'll hit OK. So it's going to ask you for the access point configuration. Uh, you can just leave this at default. I'm not going to change anything here. If you want to change the name uh, or the encryption type, you could. But for now, let's hit save. And then on the left, uh, we have this LTE modem. So that's going to be our SIM card. Showing that we are disconnected. I do have the SIM card in there in, in the uh, R980. It's, it's reading the SIM card, but we need to uh, get it on the internet. So uh, on the left-hand side, this is the summary. I click on configuration. So showing our internet is disconnected, we want to enable that. And it's going to say, well, an APN is required. So I have a Verizon SIM card. So I need to uh, figure out what APN Verizon needs. So let's hit OK there. And then just by going to 
uh, Google. I just did a search for Verizon APNs. Uh, and this is the one I'm going to use here. Uh, the Verizon Wireless Internet. So again, this is just a general internet connection. So I'm just going to copy this. I'll paste it in there. I'll click Enable. Username and password, I don't need to do anything there if I don't want to. If I want to add that in, I can, um, but I don't need to. So I'm going to hit Save. And I'll go back into my LTE modem. So I was trying to connect up. So you see right there, it shows up and connected. Uh, obviously our, our connection time is going to update as it goes here. Uh, but that's all we need to do to get the R980 to uh, read the SIM card. Uh, obviously the carrier you have, whether it be Verizon, AT&T, you know, um, T-Mobile, whatever it might be, we just need to have that uh, APN. All right, so uh, when performing an IBSS survey, uh, you do need to have a Trimble Connect business account, uh, which I do. Uh, if you want to watch Dylan's video on how to get that set up, you sure can. Uh, but I'll skip that process in this video. So what I'm going to do is just basically go into my Trimble Connect account. Here I'm going to I'm going to uh, sign in and just create a new project. So I'll just name this uh, IBSS test. Uh, North America, obviously, Ownership Frontier Precision, uh, everything is good, just need a name, just hit Submit. So this is all I really need to do, I just need to make in a uh, an IBSS test, basically essentially making a, a project folder so when I go into uh, Trimble Access then uh, I can create my job uh, inside this project folder. All right, so now that we have that uh, cloud project created in Trimble Connect, that's just my workflow. You can do it uh, on the tablet here uh, in Trimble Access uh, if, you, if you wish to. Uh, to do that, you just click on the new uh, icon at the top left, uh, give it a name, create that. So now I have, I have my name project. And if I hit the settings uh, gear uh, in the top right of the cor top right corner of the touch screen, I can hit the upload button, and it's going to ask me to sign in using uh, my Trimble ID. Uh, but being I have that already, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one off of here. I just need to sign in. So at the top with the little uh, grayed out uh, person looking icon, if I tap that, I'll just sign in. And now once I'm signed in, uh, I just need to scroll down. And at the bottom, you'll see my uh, IBSS test that we had just created. Uh, so I'll just tap on that. I'm going to hit download. So now I have that IBSS test project folder right here on my uh, TSC7. I'll hit open there. I'll create a new job. Just give it the same name. Just give it TSC7 so I can keep them separate. Uh, all my parameters are here in Stearns County. I'll hit enter and accept. And now I have a, a job created uh, in my IBSS project folder. Uh, my job's uh, created. Uh, now it's just going to be uh, getting this outside and getting set up. Uh, one thing you just want to point out, uh, again, for your Bluetooth settings, I want to make sure that I have my R10 selected as my rover. Again, this is just an older R10, uh, but my 980 is going to be my base then. So uh, let's just head outside. All right, uh, we're all outside now, uh, set up. Uh, so one thing I want to just point out, we'll just cover this quick, is just my, my settings or my survey style. Uh, I'm just going to hit the menu button, go down to settings, uh, survey styles. 
Uh, I have an IBSS service style set up just to review everything in my rover options. Uh, Survey type RTK broadcast format CMRX. My rovers in our, just an R10 uh, at that two meter height, bottom of quick release, that looks good. Uh, and just the constellations I'm going to be using today. Everything looks fine there. Uh, under my rover data link, I'm using the IBSS correction source. If I hit the little right arrow there, I can just kind of edit that and just view it. Not much you can really do. Um, I just keep it on maximum compatibility. Store that. And then my uh, GNSS internet source is on the controller internet. So I'm just using my cell phone as a hotspot today. That looks good for my rover data link. Base options. Again, we need to match these, so my survey type, RTK, broadcast format, CMRX, using the 980 as my base uh, with the SIM card, antenna height, I'm going to leave at a question mark that's going to change from different setups, and then matching my GNSS signal tracking satellites. Except there, uh, base data link, uh, internet connection, again, my GNSS correction source is that IBSS. Again, not much we can really do there, just matching with the maximum compatibility. Then my GNSS internet source, uh, receiver internet modem. Again, that's just my SIM card in that R980. And I do just uh, keep the check mark on uh, when I'm setting this, or starting my base uh, to uh, verify that it's using the SIM card. Hit accept there. So that's just a quick rundown of my survey style that I'm using. Didn't change anything. So open up my IBSS test TSC7. And at the top, uh, you see my little uh, person icon just showing that I am signed in. So hit open. And at this stage, it's really just starting a traditional uh, RTK base rover survey. Uh, so right now I'm Bluetooth to my R980, hit my GNSS function screen, Bluetooth to my base, start survey, select my IBSS survey style. Again, it's prompting me, so I'll receive your internet modem, that's the SIM card in the, in the R980 base. It's going to ask me to create a mount point name. So I just tap on create. Again, you can name this whatever you want. Um, it does not like if you put a space in there. So I'll just do like IB. IB SS. If I put a space and just put my name. If I hit create, it's going to give me a little error. So I'll just hit create again. So I have that selected. I just want to hit accept there. So I don't have a base point, so I'm just going to do a key in a here location. Store that. Uh, my antenna height is just sitting on a two meter rod at the moment. I'll hit start. Base is started. Bluetooth over to my rover. And then uh, start survey here. Select my IBSS survey style. My uh, data source is just my IBSS Tony amount point that I created. Hit accept. So just that simple. Uh, you can see my precision is at the top. Uh, there's no lag with the uh, internet connection uh, for me at the moment. I got good cell service here. Of course, I'm in town. No leg with the uh, radio. Uh, I can see pretty good precisions, um, and that's really just a, a quick rundown. I'm ready to go and start taking some measurements if I need to. Uh, and that is essentially the IBSS uh, workflow using a SIM card uh, in your new Trimble R980.